I'm uh, rocking a new Exos, Osprey Exos. This one is the 38 litre. So my other one is a 58, that's the 38. And surprisingly, uh, got the majority of my gear in there. So I'm not sure what I take extra uh, when I do bigger walks, but yeah, obviously the food would be a little bit more, but this is going to be perfect for summer and for overnight hikes uh, in winter. Yeah, summer multi days, and uh, yeah, it's just as comfy as my 58, if not more, because it's lighter. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you what I uh, what I pack in my bag for an overnighter. Now, by all means, this is not a how-to uh, on what you should or shouldn't take. That's completely up to you. This is just what I take. So I do like a little bit of comfort sometimes. So I've got a few things like chair and pillow and that sort of thing. But uh, yeah, you'll see as I unpack it. This is what I take on an overnighter. All right, let's unpack this. Starters, I've got my food, electronics bag, clothes, and towel. Got my Tokes pot with stove and everything in there, lighter, the whole lot. Got a gas canister got some raincoat my chair which is my Helinox Chair Zero my Thermarest Neo Air X Lite so that's my sleeping pad Got my tent, which is a big Agnes tumble, which is very similar to the Fly Creek, just different colour. And my sleeping bag. All these are in Ultralight Hiker, sell these Dyneema bags, dry bags. They are awesome. They really are. I've never had any issues with any anything getting wet in them and they're really light. So if you want to go check out them, check out ultralighthiker.com and uh, check out some of the stuff they got on there. And all I've got is my water filter and the knock outdoor bag, knock back dough bags, which are awesome. And I've got a Polycryo Ultralight uh, tent footprint or ground sheet. Um, Save the bottom of the tent. Also got that from Ultralight Hiker. Along with my Tokes pot. And also my long handled spoon, titanium spoon. I've then got the the poles for my tent. And then a brain up the top here. I've got some bug spray, a little bit of uh, paracord. Got my whoop, first aid kit with snake bandage. Got to have those in Australia. Snakes are bad here, especially coming into summer or spring into summer. Springtime at the moment, they're all in their breeding season, so they're out and about. And 
I've got toilet paper and trowel. And that, other than my water bottle, is everything I have in my pack. That's it. It's everything I need for an overnighter. So I'll, uh, at some stage I'll do a multi-day uh, pack out, but it's very similar. Uh, the only thing is my food obviously is bigger. And that's pretty much about it. Uh, I usually carry an extra water bottle, a second water bottle for a multi-dayer, uh, just for an overnighter. I've got the knock bags, which are two liters each. And then I've also got the, uh, which I can store water in. And then I use my squeeze filter into this. So one will do me for just for an overnighter. So yeah, that's it. So if you like this kind of video and you want to see some of my adventures, go check out my channel. Um, there's heaps of videos on there of all my adventures. And uh, until next time, I'll see you out there in the great Aussie bush somewhere. Thanks for watching, guys.